Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and thank you for being here with me today. I just released a prophecy about Israel and what the Lord is saying about Israel um, in this hour. Um, if you have not seen it yet, I would definitely suggest that you go look at it um, and kindly inform yourselves and inform others. Also, um, if you have not if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do you can also leave a comment you can subscribe you can email me my email is in the description down below i indicated that i'm actually a new mommy and so i'm enjoying the duties of motherhood um i'm hoping that i can be on here as regularly as i'd like being a mom is basically a full-time job it's like there's no opening or closing hours of being a mom really and truly uh so you know in the newborn stages it's really difficult to find time for anything else um other than your baby and this vision basically came to me so the lord speaks to me like that a lot of times when I'm busy and he knows that I'm busy I was able to see this quick vision while being busy and take note of it quickly but on the 10th of September I saw a massive earthquake basically right so on the 10th of September I briefly saw this vision <clears throat> of a massive earthquake um, in the continent of Asia um, and then the Lord narrowed it down specifically and he said china right he said china will suffer a major earthquake and what i was able to see is like massive skyscrapers sk skyscraper buildings fall down to the ground and it didn't just fell to the ground but it fell like in water right it fell like in a body of water which looked like an ocean right i'm not sure if this is an ocean or it could have been like um severe flooding right um by the sea by the ocean right um but that's what i was able to see right so these these buildings like multiple buildings were just falling down and sinking into this ocean into this water this body of water and it looked very devastating it looked <laughs> it looks like it really did look like out of a movie you know it is possible that this earthquake could trigger a tsunami um, that's why I was able to see such a large body of water which looked like the ocean it is possible that you know China and surrounding continents of China could suffer a tsunami or the effects of a tsunami uh, because of this earthquake this is just simply my belief based on what i was able to see the lord was also indicated that uh many parts of asia the continent of asia will feel the uh effects of the earthquake which means that it will be very impactful it will be very uh strong so this is just something we need to pray um against we need to pray and intercede uh, for the people in that land um, we need to ask the Lord to, to have mercy and um, on on that land and on those people <coughs> basically what we know about China is that they don't believe in Christ Jesus and they forbid uh, the reading of the Bibles the reading of the Bible in that land um, this is just something that the Lord is, is, is making known and he's saying that, you know, it's time that these people feel some sort of judgment, some sort of, of, of his wrath, of his anger. But it is a nation that has been severely oppressed. With that being said, it's, it's really difficult for the Lord to move through the land because of how limited his word is shared there, because of how limited he is known there. Right? There's not many vessels that he's able to use in that land um, to stir up a, a revival, to stir up a, a, an awakening. Um, so more or less, the people are going to, you know, 
know who he is by his wrath, by his anger, by his hand. Um, so let's just pray that he changes his mind about this prophecy and um, the people there somehow miraculously come to some type of awakening to know that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of the entire world and there's no other God but him. So he led me to a couple uh, scripture and one of these scripture is Jeremiah 4. I'm going to read basically Jeremiah 4, read verses 1 to 8. <clears throat> Right? It says here, If thou will return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me. And if thou will put away thine abomination out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. And thou shalt swear, The Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my, fa lest my fury come, up, come forth like fire and burn, that none can, and burn that none can quench it because of your evil, because of the evil of your doings. Right? So basically the Lord is talking to his people. Right? Not necessarily is Israel specifically specifically but um basically people who have fallen away and right? people who are follow fallen away in sin people who are blinded people who were supposed to be his people but are blinded and have decided to follow the ways of the gentiles all right he's talking to this group of people um this group of people who are not in him right who are not sheltered and, and covered under his wings and standing upon his rock and right? he's talking to these people right so verse 5 is saying declare ye in judah and publish in jerusalem and say blow ye the trumpets in the land cry gather together and say assemble yourselves and let us go into the defense into the defense city set up the standard towards zion retire say, stay not for i will bring evil from the north and a great destruction the lion is come upon from his thicket and the destroyer of the gentiles is on his way he is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate and thy cities shall be laid waste without an inhabitant for this good you would sacrot lament and howl for the fierce anger of the lord is not turned back from us okay so i also want to read amos 5 um no these chapters was given to me by the lord right so Amos 5 is saying, uh, I'm going to read verses 25 to 27, right? You can do yourself a favor and read the entire chapter, if you like. Right, so verse 25 is saying, Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness? Forty years, O house of Israel, but ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chion, your images the star of your god which ye made to yourselves but ye have borne the tabernacle of your malak and your chayun your images the star of your god which ye made to yourselves therefore will i cause you to go into captivity beyond damascus said the lord whose name is the god of hosts right so the lord is talking about false gods um idolatry and um, he's talking about that in these couple of verses and he's saying that he will definitely cause these people to go into captivity because because of their wicked ways because of their evil doings um the lord also gave me psalm 57 which i'm not going to read the entire thing but you can do that on your timing Alright, so it says here be merciful unto me O god be merciful unto me for my soul trusteth in thee, yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge, until these calamities be overpassed. 
I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. That was verse 2. So it's basically a it's basically a psalm that you want to read when you may have to fight uh, spiritual warfare right this is that type of psalm you know when you want to confess to the lord um that you know he is god and you know you're you're in you're in need of his help it's basically more or less that was the uh prophecy for the continent of asia specifically china right so let's not forget to keep this nation in prayer let's not forget to intercede on the these people behalf i would really appreciate it if you can share this video share this prophecy share this word to your peers your friends your family please let them know that god is still speaking today and he will continue to speak until he no longer needs to right tell them that he speaks through his prophets even today because his holy spirit is alive and well throughout this land his holy spirit is moving in the world today we need to know what the lord is saying about every event and every occurrence that is happening in this land in every part of the world because the lord has something to say about everything believe it or not he has something to say about everything that is happening in this world today and that will continue to happen in the future like i said please subscribe like this video comment you can even email me all right make sure your notification is turned on so that you receive uh, notifications every time i upload a video so until next time be the light in every darkness